Hi all, welcome and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have two completely shocking stories to share with you about mothers who killed their children. But before I begin, I just want to take a moment to welcome all my newer subscribers to my channel. Thank you for checking out my content and giving my channel a chance. I know there's a lot of true crime YouTube channels out there, and I appreciate you taking the time to watch mine. For the rest of you who have been with me for a bit, Thank you for continuing to watch, comment, and support me. You're all so important to me and the success of my channel, and I just want you to know that. Okay, why a video about moms who kill their kids? Because I'm fascinated by it. I always have been. Because I'm a mom, and I can't imagine what it would take for me to kill my innocent children, short of me absolutely losing my mind. So, when I read a story about it, I have to know what led up to her doing such a horrific thing. And it shocks me, completely shocks me, how many stories I do read about it. You'd think something so heinous and unnatural would be rare, but unfortunately it's not. And I want to know why. Let's begin. Our first story took place in Waco, Texas on the morning of November 9, 2020. According to news reports, 39-year-old Sarah Hunt, who was a fifth-grade teacher at Lake Air Montessori School, picked up her teenage son Garrett from a camper he was staying at with his father to drive him to his first day of school. But he never made it there. According to two people approached by Hunt that morning while she walked along a road, they say she asked them for help for her son because he was in heaven with her mother. Followed by saying, what have I done? Police were called to the scene where they found Hunt's minivan in the road. Inside, they found her son Garrett, dead, with multiple gunshot wounds, and a forty caliber pistol on the driver's side floor. They said they also found a magazine for the gun and bullets both in the car and on the ground. Police arrested Hunt, and when they questioned her, they said she sobbed and said she didn't mean to do it. But police say otherwise, as they found she emptied the entire clip into him during the shooting. They say she has offered no motive for killing her son, and all they know from talking to family members is that the family was in the process of moving to the area. She's been charged with first-degree murder and is being held on a $500,000 bond. Crazy, huh? Now... On to our second story, out of Connecticut, which is equally as tragic. Police in Connecticut say that on Friday, November 13, 2020, they were called to a home on Main Street in Plymouth, where they found two children, ages 15 and 7, shot. The 15-year-old girl, who was a high school student, was pronounced dead at the scene. Her 7-year-old brother was rushed to a local hospital in critical condition. The mother and father of the children were both home at the time of the shooting, and police say that they have a third child who was not home at the time. The children's mother, 43-year-old Naomi Bell, was arrested and charged with murder with special circumstances. I have no idea what the special circumstances is about, but she's being held on a $2.5 million bond as she awaits her first hearing. And now for my absolute favorite part of crime stories. Ready? The neighbor said the community is reeling about the news of the shooting because Naomi was such a great person. One neighbor claimed that she was like a second mother to her children. Thank God she wasn't that day, huh? A family friend said it was a gigantic shock because Naomi is just so wonderful. Her next door neighbor said the family were longtime residents of the town and he often saw Naomi walking her Pomeranian on the street. He said she was always very pleasant. He said he never heard any gunshots, so it seemed unreal until he saw them bring her daughter out on a stretcher and take her away. Yeah, she sounds great. Just goes to show how people can fool us so easily, doesn't it? Makes you wonder if you ever really know anybody, or if people are at all what they seem. I usually have a lot to say, or at least something to say about the stories I do, but these two, 
I'm at a loss. Not just because I don't have much information to go on, but because I can't even begin to put myself in the shoes of either mother in these stories. So I'm stumped. All I have at this point is, what the hell? So, if you have more than me, a theory, anything, let me know in the comments. In the meantime, I'll be praying for Naomi's seven-year-old, who is no doubt clinging to life in the ICU because she was so wonderful. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you on my next video.